All right, so here's a video on how to do my, how to uh, take down your bolt out of your Mosin Nagant. First, you take and uh, you gotta pull back on your safety where it would be, and then your whole deal will slide off the side, your rail that it runs on inside of your gun. Then you twist the piece that's up front where your firing pin comes through. It's got your shell extractor on there. You twist it and it'll slide right off. Then after that, you gotta take and, of course, there's your firing pin. Push down on it. Not gonna be easy. You gotta push down on it and then unscrew your, what would be your safety. Or the, the cocking hammer. Unscrew it. It's left-handed thread, or regular standard threads. Then it unscrews. Like I said, there's your safety. Then your firing pin and spring will slide right out of your bolt and all that. So you can see you got a real, real heavy duty spring on it, so it's not easy to push, push down on. But in the back, there's a flathead screw. That's how you adjust it when you put it back together. But you can see mine's got grooves cut in it to show you where it needs to be lined up at. Because when you put it back together, on your rail that slides in and out of your bolt on the bottom, there's groove or there's it only fits in one way, the way the firing pin's made, so you can't put it in there backwards to where it won't fire. But to put it back together you just do the same thing you just did. Slide it back in and you gotta push back down on your bolt handle. And then you gotta screw it all the way back down. As you can see, it's not going to be lined up. Some of them might, some of them aren't. Mine's not. But I don't have the fire pin adjustment tool for mine to show you how far to that the firing pin needs to strike to hit your bullet. I tested mine a long while ago on a empty shell. I just pulled the powder and uh, bullet out of it. Just left the primer when I put it all back together to make sure that it hit enough to set the primer off. Um, this piece sometimes will slide back over, sometimes won't. But when it slides back over, it's got to slide back over this notch that sticks off. And as you can see, mine don't. So you got to take your flathead and turn your screw to where it'll fit. I might have to slide it back off. But as you can see, mine's lined back up. And cock it and it's all back together just the way it was when you took it back out and then you can take your take your gun slide right back in works like a charm like I said when you buy your Mosin the Gants they come with a tool kit and it has a a firing pin adjustment tool Another thing you can do to check it is to release your firing spring to where it's completely pressed down and then you can see your firing pin will be sticking out. If it's not sticking out, then you didn't do it right. But mine's sticking out. Like I said, I tested mine. I know it works and it's got grooves that are cut in there so I know where it's supposed to be. <clears throat> but that's pretty much it on the takedown and reassemble on your Mosin Nagant bolt. Thanks for watching.